What is up broskies? Here's Advent with you. Today I'm going to show you how to make an intro looking exactly like this one. Now I know you've seen this before so uh, do not mention it in the comment section. I know, I know it's an uh, intro that's already been done before and uh, it's just a tutorial on, on for people who would want this type of intro. So yeah, let's crack on. Um, getting on. Getting started, we want to Go to file, new project. Uh, I've already saved this, don't want to save it now. Um, go composition, new composition. Uh, we'll just leave it as comp one, make it five seconds long, uh, 59.94, 1280, and 720 pixels. Um, press hit OK. And you want to go to layer, new, solid, or we'll name it background. Uh, make it comp size, change the or leave the color as white, hit OK. And uh, now you want to get another layer, go new, solid. This time we'll make it yellow, yellowy orange. Uh, comp size, hit OK. Then you want to grab the ellipse tool and create. A oval shape. <clears throat> now, after you've created this shape, you should um, the mask um, icon here should uh, pop up, and then what you want to do is uh, click this tab here and put it on subtract, and then you want to open the mask, and you want to change the feather so that you can see here that it's feathering out, and also maybe the opacity is to to your um, liking, so. You can make it however you like. Um, I put it on 60. Um, it looks quite nice like this. Then you want to um, obviously insert the text. So what we're going to have here is for you, I'll just put in text here. Oh, it's in caps. Um, then make it a bit bigger. Well, a lot bigger. and then try get to the center so what you want to do is hit this icon here click title slash action safe and this will help you align it to the center of the composition so um, I do not want to get in center I want to get it to the right so I can have my image here so I'll have it let's say around here seems to be fine then you want to click the icon again and remove that grid and then you want to insert another text here for your web, web page. I'm going to lower the size this time. Yeah, that should seem okay. Move it a bit to the right. Yeah, there we go. Um, and now you want to have your image. Now, um, in, within this video, within this tutorial, I'm going to put in a download link for some uh, character renders that I've got here. Um, some Sonic renders, some anime renders. Uh, Modern Warfare, Marvel, and all this stuff, you know. Uh, I'm going to include it into the description below. So, yeah, if you want these renders, download them. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, I'm going to pick... Let's go for... Let's go for Charizard. Drag it here. Then you want to drag it down to your composition area um, now this is not um, a PNG well not when well, doesn't have a transparent background it's white as you can see so what you want to do is first of all let's um, lower the size so you want to hit control T oh wait that's for Photoshop sorry my bad you want to just resize it it's zoom out so you can actually see the resize bar and then you want to Click on the, the the box there, and then hold Control and drag it down. So, sorry, you hold Shift and make it smaller, so that it will keep to scale and not look dodgy like this. So yeah, um, let's put it on to the right here. And then what you want to do is you want to go to Effects, type in Color Key. 
you want to drag this onto the Charizard image you want to click this um, little tool here and click over the white background and there it disappears so yeah um, now we've done that we're gonna make it all wiggle now um, I just wanna resize the Charizard a bit again click here hold shift and size it so it keeps the scale there we go now to make it wiggle we wanna go to layer new um, null object we'll leave it down there for now then layer new camera um, leave the you might wanna use these settings if you want um, I'll give you time to put them in or you can just pause the video um, I'll hit OK and then you wanna click camera hit P and then hold alt and click the this little watch here which is a keyframe watch thingy magic um, hold alt and then click it and then as you can see your screen goes blank not to worry just follow these steps um, you wanna click here remove this and type in to make sure you, to make it uh, wiggle you wanna type in wiggle <coughs> bracket and the amount of times you want it to wiggle within a second so preferably three comma and uh, the amount of times you want it to wiggle from side to side within a second I would say I would say twin 20 should be good and then close bracket and then you want to hit and also oh, you don't want to hit enter you just want to click off it and then your image comes back again and now as you can see it is not wiggling at all so what you want to do to actually make a wiggle is for this null object you created earlier you want to use the pickwick tool which is here and if you don't see this um, tool <clears throat> within your within the comp tab you want to right click here and then go columns and then tick off parent well tick on parent and then you should be able to see this swirly little icon here then what you want to do is hold um, the pickwick tool drag it to the camera one and then after you've done that you want to drag the pickwick tool from the text here to the null object as well and also grab the website name here using the pickwick tool again drag it to the null object as well and then use the charizard image again pickwick tool to null one and now hopefully the image should um, wiggle and there we go it, it is really easy to do not really hard um, hope this helped you out a lot and um, if you need any more help just let me know um, yeah this is advent peace out